Hi YouTube, welcome back to Tractor Talk with Gary. I am excited to be doing this video. In this video, we're going to be installing my custom-built brush guard for the Kubota L2501 tractor that I have. Uh, this is built by Zooks Welding out of Fremont, Ohio. And I hope you have been following along and caught where uh, I have made friends with Robert from Pheasant Lane Farm. Now, Robert has a very unique story, and he'll be filling everybody in on that eventually. Um, it, it's, it's quite a story. Anyway, Robert and Robert from Pheasant Lane Farm and Robert from Zooks Welding are really good friends. Robert from Zooks Welding custom-built the brush guard for Robert from Pheasant Lane Farm for his L3901 tractor, same grill. So anyway... Um, I liked what I saw in his video, and I found out later on that Robert from Zooks Welding is doing this as a side business. He's building these custom. Uh, very high quality work. Uh, uh, kudos, Robert. You, you really do good work. I'm very, very happy with it. But I got a little surprise from Robert from Pheasant Lane Farm uh, in corresponding back and forth with him and, and ordering this brush guard from his buddy at Zooks Welding. He decided to do something for me, uh, just gifted me a uh, customization of my grill guard. And the customization is it says Tractor Talk on an emblem that's laser cut and put into the grill guard. Why did Robert from Pheasant Lane Farm do that? Because he's a stand-up guy. That's why. He, he is really a cool guy. And now what a nice gesture. I am... <laughs> I am very happy with that. That was a nice touch. So uh, first class, Robert. First class. Very nice. And Robert from Zooks Welding, uh, your work is, is first class too. Very good. Very high quality. Very well done. Nice touch on that, you guys. So uh, I am excited to be getting going on this. So let's get started. And here we have the finished product. It's a two-piece grill guard. And if you can see, if I can get this close enough, you can see that the ZW, well, it's like an artist's signature that Zooks Welding puts on his equipment, or his product that he puts out. And there is the emblem that Robert from Pheasant Lane Farm gifted me, the Tractor Talk with the YouTube subscribe arrow on it. That was, that was a nice touch, very nice touch. Like I said, first class. Well, the stand-up guy. Anyway, I uh, am anxious to get these on and get going. So I've got a little bit of touching up to do on the paint. I might as well do it while they're off. So I'm gonna take these up in the wood shop and do a little sanding and touch up some rough spots and give it another one more coat of paint and we're going to call it good enough and get them installed and then uh, complete the video. There's the grill guard installed. This grill guard comes complete from Zooks Welding with all the hardware needed to mount it, stainless steel bolts and lock nuts, stainless steel washers too. Comes complete with all the hardware, even extra hardware. I got a couple extra bolts with it. And there's my emblem I am so proud of. Thank you, Robert from Pheasant Lane Farm. The Tractor Talk with Gary emblem. I need to touch up the paint a little bit. Um, in installing it, I nicked up the edges a little bit and stuff, but uh, it's ready to go. And its job is to keep the tractor from getting nicked up. Anyway, Tractor Talk with Gary now has a new grill guard for my L2501 Kubota tractor. Very happy, very happy. Needs a little touching up on the paint in some spots and kind of scratched it up installing it. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. There's four bolts to mount the bottom piece, four bolts to mount the top piece, 
and Zooks Welding sends all the hardware. They are stainless steel bolts and washers with lock nuts. It's a really nice grill guard. Let's talk about that for a minute. If you have one of these, any kind of tractor for that matter, if you have one of these smaller tractors like this with a loader and you're using it out in brush and using it in treetops and stuff, um, there is a really good chance that eventually you are going to run something through your grill. And your radiator is behind there, your coolant reservoir, your battery, just the decorative pieces in the front, the hood, the lights, this grill. That stuff is expensive, really expensive. And even if you have the KTAC insurance, um, your deductible is going to eat up more than what the grill guard is going to cost you. I recommend it, highly recommend it. It should come from the factory with something like this on it. Um, but, like we said before, these are an economy tractor. But if you're looking for a grill guard, if you don't have one on, you should be looking for one. If you're looking for a good one for these Kubotas, the Kubota L series, and even the B series, I believe, too, I would get a hold of Zooks Welding. You can look him up on YouTube. I will leave a number for him. And anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you for the next one. Always remember, if you rest, you rust.